Hey there, friends. Coming at you with another episode of the Pre-Ride Show. We're here in Emporia, Kansas at Unbound. We got one of the many uh, pre-rides rolling out and we get a chance to spend a few minutes with the young up and coming superstar of the sport, Melissa Rollins. Melissa, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good, I'm here, ready to go. Right on. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, when we first met, which you reminded me of, it was last year, but at a mountain biking event. You were uh, racing at Moab Rocks yeah, on a mountain right, bike, right, but right. That's, that's more your background, right? The mountain bike is more your background. Yeah, so I would say I mostly mountain bike, dabble a little in gravel and now I'm a part of, luckily it's a part of the Lifetime Grand Prix. Yeah. So a little bit of both, it's kind of perfect. So me. that was right in your wheelhouse then, if you thought, yeah, shoot, I, was, I can. Yeah, I was super excited Half for the it. events that I'm, I know I'm really good at and the other ones I know I can be good at because I've got those great bike handling skills. Yeah, exactly. Um, where did you grow up? Where did this love for cycling come about? Yeah, so I grew up in just south of Salt Lake City in, in Utah. And I started riding probably in 2018, so so not too long ago. Okay. Um, my parents were always into mountain biking. I feel like that's the inception of a lot of people, but my my dad, who I look up to a lot, he's done Leadville 24 times. Wow. Yeah, so I always knew about the race, and that actually ended up being one of my very first mountain bike races. <laughs> so that's jumping in the deep end, girl. Yeah, so I kind of did it like the opposite way of most people like i started with the long stuff instead okay. of starting with the short stuff i like went the like instead of going with like a pro xct i kind of went the like midlife crisis route where okay. you like jump into something you're not you're not sure if you're going to finish <laughs> did you have a natural endurance engine like that was it was it easy to just to do that for you more so than other people that might just take it on or i guess maybe the question is how did that endurance engine get built so i was a swimmer okay all growing up and I, I think back to those days, like when I was swimming varsity in high school, like we did two a days every single day and sometimes dry land. So it was like six to eight hours a day as a kid, like crazy. Swimming on dry land, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. No, that Oh, I'm sorry, that, that was part. training. I got it, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, so a little bit of endurance engine, a little bit of like learning how to, um, I find a lot of the like similarities in gravel when you're like in the zone as I did in the pool. Okay. You kind of just like your brain goes like in circles and yep. you just learn to get in the zone that way. Yeah. So suffering is not new to you. This concept of these longer distances and, and being able to handle that sort of um, mental plus the physical right. stretching yourself that way is not is not foreign to you. Right. Right. Um, what uh, what now this pivot into gravel or starting to do more gravel, especially being in the Grand Prix, um, what do you like the most about it in terms of how well the, 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 your experience on the mountain bike fits over to gravel? Yeah, I like, I like how the start is super hard because that's my favorite part about mountain biking. You can just kind of go as hard as you that's, want to. There's yeah. not like- The sprint's there, at the beginning, right? Right, right. Yeah. There, there is tactic, but it's, uh, more so sometimes later in the race and so it's kind of like a mix of like the things that i like about riding mountain biking and the things that i like about riding on the road but that being said like i'm still learning a lot sure on the road side like drafting doesn't make a lot of sense to me but i'm learning and like <laughs> tactics and like how to save energy and all of that yep so still definitely learning but. um and is this your first year with uh, team 24 i started with team 2024 right after i signed with them right after the lead boat challenge okay. in so just fall of last year okay yeah and i gotta imagine that team is well known for developing younger riders and bringing them into the sport i gotta imagine a lot right. of that learning came from that experience there with that team right right so i i had uh, at least for me, it felt like a really big result right after the lead boat challenge. I was, I was sixth at Leadville and then the next day I turned around and finished with all the lead boat girls at Steamboat wow. Gravel the very next day. Okay. And, um, one of the girls who was on the podium with me at, at lead boat was on 2024. So that kind of put me in the eyes of the manager. Who was that? Uh, Jasmine Deering okay. was third. Yeah, yeah, and so the, well done, Jasmine. Good, <laughs> good eye. <laughs> yeah, so the manager Nicola reached out to me and was like, "Hey, are you on a team?" Because I was just like, I was wearing like a a shop kit, and I I didn't really have a lot of support. So she has given me the world, and it's been really great. 
have, have there been any welcome to the big time moments <laughs> when, when you're out there and all of a sudden you're racing, you're in the lead group, you're racing with these other very elite women athletes. And oh yeah. Here you are, and I'm Captain Obvious here, but you're a young young woman. Like, yeah. Is, has it been a, there been these surprising moments that oh, you're yeah. just like, wow, what, this is really cool? Yeah. Last year at um, last year at Crusher, this was prior to me getting on 2024, but last year at Crusher. Uh, at the top of the first climb, which is, you know, like an, like an hour, hour and a half climb, uh -huh. I, I went down the descent to the other side and I was like, holy crap, I'm like, I'm with Lauren DiCrescenzo, like right. in the lead. And Sofia Gomez Villafane is like right behind us. And like, we're in the mix, like I'm in the mix. It's like, oh my gosh, yeah. so crazy, so crazy. So anyway, that one didn't end up super well for me but well, that's a very tough ride strategy. that's a very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm just learning every single race there's just like every single race it's like the learning curve is like you know big chunks but. yeah well and i think too the each race especially with the grand prix each race is so uniquely different for sure right for whether sure. it's the terrain the bike or whatever and it, it calls on all of your skills yeah right? like, yeah yeah and and plus as we know a good endurance race you've got to manage the nutrition right you've got to manage your hydration and Absolutely. things like that so all of that comes with this learning experience right right, right. um aside from the grand prix what are your other big races and ambitions that you have this year um i honestly don't have a lot i okay. i just selected the the six major races in the grand prix and i'm just excited to give them all i have okay. you know um, any pre-riding we've done on this course here? We've got 200 miles coming up tomorrow. How do you feel? What's the, what's the energy level like? <laughs> well, I got in at 11.30 p.m. last night, so okay. <laughs> I woke up and came here. <laughs> so All right. no, I haven't, I haven't seen any of the course, but um, I, I'll get a little pre-ride in, see the start, see the finish, and hope that um, 200 miles is really long and hopefully my competitors also don't really remember much of what they've pre-written anyway. Okay. And now you're in a different kit so they might not recognize you and yeah, you're just exactly. going to be blasted yeah, to the I'll front right away. Slide around. Yeah. All right. Um, we'd love to take a good look at your bike here. You got a second to stick around and show yeah, us the bike? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. All right, Melissa, let's take a look at this beautiful felt machine. We got it up in the stand here. A big question on everybody's mind is always going to be tire choice. Yeah. What's your width? What's your pressure? And why did you choose this tire? I got the 40, fil bleh, 40 millimeter Flint Ridge Kendas, and I'm going to be running at 28 PSI. Okay. And these are just bomb proof. I've been riding on these trails all around Salt Lake chunky gravel and for me i think not flatting is more important than um having a tire that might roll slightly faster on maybe the paved section so that's just for me okay you're all wrapped up in shram here um what's your gearing choice i got a 1044 the explorer set in the back and then i got a 42 chain chain ring in the front okay so hoping that power meter? Is, is there a power meter? Do you yeah, we got a power? power meter. Okay. And um, what do you keep in the snack box? Oh, lots of never second gels, lots of JoJ bars, lots of JoJ bars. I love them. Yeah. Love those. Yeah, for sure. Um, what else do I like? I like. I call them the Pogacha gel because his team uses them, but it's okay. Enervit. Okay. Energy gel. It's good enough for him, right? I, can, I know, come right? On. Yeah, yeah well, seems that, to work pretty well. That's my secret power. I shouldn't have. I like that. Like. Okay. <laughs> um, the, we're matched up with the zip wheels here, keeping it in the family. Yep. Um, the 303s. Yeah. Okay. What else do you like about it? Like, what's your what's your favorite piece of this bike? Ooh, I just I love the geometry on it. it just feels feels good, feels fast, feels comfortable. And okay. for me, I've got a lot of hip issues, so I'm I'm not I can't get super aero because I have. I've learned that I can't, <laughs> I don't have like the hip mobility for that. Okay. So this bike is set up perfectly for how I'm comfortable for okay. 10 plus hours. Well, and that's important, right? If you're gonna do that, that fit has to be completely dialed in. It just, yeah, it, absolutely. It, it can sap so much of your power and your energy to be able to push a bike that you're not fit on properly. Yeah, exactly. Man, it looks fast. So do you. Um, we're super excited for you. Good Thanks. luck. We're gonna keep our eye on you not only tomorrow, but the rest of the season as you make your way through the Grand Prix. So yeah, thanks. Super stoked you came to hang out with us. Of course. Hopefully Keep, we'll be seeing you again for sure. soon. Keep an eye for Melissa Rollins tomorrow, the Unbound 
Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Pre-Ride Show. We got lots more to come. Please follow us and get all the notifications for all the episodes we're gonna drop the rest of our time here in Emporia. Thanks for looking in.